Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. So you know we've started our 30 day vegan challenge. So today we're gonna do a What I Ate Wednesday. I really do wanna give you guys an idea of different meals that you can make throughout the day. I personally like to stick with the pretty much the same meals. It's just easier. It's easier on you when you go to the market, your pockets. I just find those vegan meals, of course, that don't include any animal protein whatsoever, and I just kind of stick with them. I will tweak them, make some variations, but I have about 10 different meals that I just make on a regular basis, and it's Simple. So today I want to show you the different meals that I made in one particular day and take you through my day from beginning to end. In addition to not having any animal protein in my diet, the other thing that I chose to challenge myself on as well, you guys, is to eliminate all of the oils. So you, when you're cooking and sauteing those vegetables, I would normally use that extra virgin olive oil. I just completely eliminated it. Just use a non-stick pan, cut up those vegetables, and it works great, you guys. You are not missing out on any flavor whatsoever because all the oil is is just empty calories that we don't need. And since part of my challenge, I wanted to lose some weight within these 30 days, I have actually noticed within this short period of time that I've actually lost weight. I've lost, you ready? four pounds i know that does not sound like a lot of weight but for me that is huge i'll take any little one i can get and you women out there you also know four pounds is a big deal so it's a big deal for me as well so i am motivated and encouraged to continue on this vegan challenge it has not been that difficult at all for me i really did think that it was going to really be a struggle to eliminate that cheese and eliminate those eggs because I love them so much but with my tofu scramble if you haven't watched it check it out and also putting on my vegan sour cream and vegan ranch on my potatoes I really haven't missed it as much as I thought I would so I want to encourage you guys to continue on the challenge I hope you guys stick with it let's go and see what I eat in one day from beginning to end I love to start off my mornings with a fresh glass of cold lemon water. This really gets your digestive system working. Then I like to always enjoy a cup of green tea. That green tea really aids in weight loss. I'll either drink my green tea or my ginger tea. So now let's go ahead and get started on our breakfast smoothie. We're just simply going to add in some frozen berries here. It's just a mixture of blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, and of course that spinach I have to have in my smoothies, and a banana. And I'm just adding in some filtered water here to the bottom of that blender. It'll just make it a lot easier for all of that produce to blend up. And I'm just dumping all that produce in the blender and now let's start blending. I know, I know you guys, it does not look the most appealing, but believe me, it tastes great. Now let's get started on our lunch. I'm just going to have sweet potato fries. This is one of my favorite lunches. Easy to do and quick to bake off. And now what I'm going to do here, I've just taken one large sweet potato and it made all of those fries, you guys. Now I'm just seasoning them up with some salt and pepper, some paprika, I'm also going to use one of my other favorite seasonings with it, which is cumin. And if I had some chili powder, I would have put chili powder on there as well. It really adds that extra boost in flavor. But my absolute must have for these sweet potato fries, wait for it, it is the 
garlic powder. The garlic powder really makes these sweet potato fries absolutely fantastic. And as you can see, I use a lot of garlic powder. Now we're just simply blending up all of those seasonings and making sure to coat it all on each individual sweet potato fry. And we're gonna layer it in one layer on this parchment paper to make sure it doesn't stick. And then we're gonna go ahead and just flip these fries over halfway through. And I just like to bake my sweet potato fries, guys, on a temperature of 400 degrees for about 40 minutes. After my sweet potato fries, I had me a plate of roasted broccoli. And don't forget guys, you do snack in between these meals. Today, I just simply had some dehydrated okra spears from Whole Foods. These things are loaded with fiber and they taste amazing. So now let's go ahead and get started on dinner, which is my favorite black bean burrito bowls. And I just rinsed off those black beans, added them to a pot, and then we're gonna just rinse off these tomatoes, chop them up. And then we're just gonna add them over here into the pot with our beans. And I just added water to there. And now we're just adding in whatever your favorite taco seasoning is. Don't make it difficult, guys. Whatever your seasoning is, add that over into those beans. Stir that all up and let it simmer. And next you can see here, guys, yes, I use this vegan sour cream all the time, either on my baked potatoes and absolutely on my black bean burritos. It is awesome. You can see here that I just simply topped off those black beans and tomato mixture with some green onions and that vegan sour cream and my favorite taco sauce. And now it's time for dessert. And we are gonna have that banana ice cream. This time I also have frozen peaches in there. And yes, blueberries. All right, so you guys got to see exactly what I eat in one day. And as you can tell, that was a lot of food. Some of those meals, I couldn't even make it through. And I'm also sure you guys noticed when I started off with that smoothie, it looked disgusting. I know, but it tastes really good. You saw exactly what I put in the blender. It was simply the blackberries, the blueberries, some raspberries that were frozen, the spinach and banana. It was absolutely delicious, although it looked like mud. And the other thing I hope that you guys were able to pay attention to was there was no oil on those sweet potato fries. I simply just lined them up in one single layer on that parchment paper, did not stick whatsoever. Dipping that in the ketchup, I was completely full. I barely made it through my broccoli. And at the end, my ice cream, I love to have my sweet treat at the end of the day. So I hope I helped you guys to see just how easy and simple and healthy it is for you to be vegan. And I hope you guys remember, and don't forget, be happy, be healthy, be vegan. And don't forget, guys, I put up videos every Thursday and Saturday. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.